guys what's up what's up to my channel so you guys wanted to know how i um let me just spray a little bit i just got out of the shower so i am gonna go ahead and do a tutorial on my eyebrows because everyone always wants to know um we already washed her face and i'm old school i do use cocoa butter that's what I use, Charlie. If anyone was wondering, sometimes I use like something special, but it'll be like once, like once a month, I would use that. And we're gonna dive in. And then I have to do lots of recordings for my other YouTube channel. If you guys are on my other YouTube channel, you need to get into it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. So, ugh. all right. So first, what I always do is moisturize. Okay, I usually sometimes use the Queen Helen, the thick one, but when it's summertime and it's really hot, that's too greasy for me. Like way too greasy, way too oily. But that's good to use in the winter. This one is a little bit more water-based, so no parabens, no mineral oil, no gluten, no sulfates. Like it's a certain formula that has vitamin E in it. This has been working for me. So I don't like to switch up a lot of my face products because I'm hypoallergenic. So once I switch up and go to something else, it can literally like make me break out if I just switch up too quick. I can do another like face routine and things that I use like um, that would be a whole nother video. So we just want to get to the eyebrow tutorial. Okay, so first I'm going to start off with my eyelashes this i do sleep on this side a lot i like to use the duo glue you was like do you sleep with your eyelashes oh fuck yeah bitch it doesn't has an effect on me i've been wearing eyelashes for years then i will use my eyelash brush here it's like a little angle it has like a little bit of a dip and what i do is i dip it in glue and then I just put it wherever it needs to be reapplied for my eyelash because you can like pinpoint it of where it's gonna go and it's like a quick, a quick easy fix um, normally my eyelashes stay on these eyelashes are a little bit thicker um, normally I get them thinner so for some reason these ones are like peeling really easy because they have a thicker band to them so it requires a lot more glue. And I like this glue, it dyes, um, it dries black even though um, it's gray. This week has been really rough, you guys. I have really cried my eyelashes off probably a few good times. So they were like, why don't you just go get them done? And I'm just like, yeah, no. I've, had, I've seen way too many horror stories with that. I'm just like, let me just, just give me the strip like sometimes I just want to take them off sometimes it's like I just don't want to have them at all my eyelashes are actually really long but I like the strips because I can play be dramatic be natural whatever but I always have to have eyelashes on if I don't have eyelashes on then I feel really naked I just don't want someone poking nope I need my vision number one number two I heard that makes your eyelashes really thin like your actual real eyelashes like to where you're bald the way that I do my eyelashes um I still have eyelashes, so <laughs> I like to keep my eyelashes on, you know. I use like a little pincher. You use your finger or whatever. Sometimes it helps to use these tools. And that's how you can fix your eyelashes without having to like take them all the way off. Done, son. What all you guys have been waiting for is the eyelash tutorial. So we're gonna get started with that. I mean the eyebrow tutorial. I literally have to have my eyelashes or my eyebrows done. I my eyebrows done. I keep saying that. Um, as you guys can see, I do have eyebrows. It's just really light. Look at my skin glowing, honey. Okay. Um, I have my dad's eyebrows. Like he has full blown hair and it's really light on the ends. Kind of like um, what's that chick like Raven Simone? 
and do not say I look like her or either. No, we're not gonna go there. What I use, so what you need to get if you don't have it already, these are the products that I use. You can get any angle brush, you guys, okay? Any angle brush, I get it for a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, whatever it is. What I use my top secret is eyeliner. And I'm cheap too. Ball on a budget, go to e.l.f., okay? Get an eyeliner, because you're only going to use it for your eyebrows, all right? Um, either one. I'm finishing one up now, because the other, actual other one I do use for my eyebrows. I did use, use the Kat Von D um, from Ulta, but I ran out. That is my other go-to if you want, like, a pricier product where you're just paying for the person and the name. All right, they all work the same, guys. Literally, it all does the same thing. My other secret is is that I grab a plastic tray. So this is what I've been using. Um, I use it all the way up until this tray is completely black. So we'll choose another spot and I just dab the, uh, the eyeliner in the tray. You just need like a small amount, nothing crazy because you're barely going to use anything. So I just dip the brush into the eyeliner and I only put it at the ends. So you want to put it, let me see it, like at the end of the tip, like on the tip. <laughs> you can see I do tutorials all the time. Now we're going to start to apply. Um, I don't use anything for guidelines. I just start to draw. I am an artist, so I just like to draw it on there. So let me go ahead and give you guys a better angle. So what I did was individual brush strokes. It's just like you're making hair lines, pretty much. And then I do this part. So that's pretty much it, guys. And you know your face and where it's centered on where you need to leave hair, where you need to stop at. Like, you'll know that. You guys can do something like, um, like put a line here or something I don't know so you guys know where to stop at for the to make it even I'm used to doing my eyebrows all the time so it's easy for me just to use no guidelines they do have little eyebrow guidelines but I just feel like they're not really like the natural curve of your face so now we're gonna do the second one I always do the base first and then I do the end You guys want to make sure you're just you can even dab it on or you can literally do the strokes depending on how much liquid you have on your brush so see that's too light so I'm just gonna use a little bit more if you need more eyeliner just apply it And voila, there you have it. So then that's when you want to focus on to see if this side is even or not. You can always just kind of go over. There there will still be like a little bit of, you know, eyeliner on your brush. And you just kind of like make sure everything's even, you know, how you want it to look. And then you kind of just, it's like kind of like you use it as a filler. And you just make it look really natural. And you see how they look like individual brush strokes. Some other pro tips are once you're first dipping in, you always want to start at the base or somewhere towards the center of the eyebrow because it has a lot of more a lot more liquid and it's really dark. So it's gonna come off dark right away. Then that way the more you do the brush strokes, the lighter it gets and the less liquid. So that's why I do the ends and then I do the center um, 
last. Next, if you want your eyebrows to pop, what I like to do is, I'll go ahead and you guys can use any type of concealer. Try some meek. Highlight stick, you can use a highlight stick. Um, Physician's formula is also really good too. There's all kinds of like, um, you know, like any kind of cover girl sticks, wet and wild, whatever your flavor is, whatever you like to use. Um, you can even use like a color corrector cream. Um, you know, anything that's light, if you like the liquid. I like also to, um, I think they're, what are they called? Like Bobbi Brown or something. I don't know. It's really good because um, it dries quick. All right, so it looks like this. So something lighter than your skin so that your eyebrows can pop. Next, you're going to need a brush, of course. So I have the same brush for every time I do this. You know, for some reason, it's just like can't find the brushes when you need them, right? Oh, there it goes. They're always fucking hidden. All right, so I'm just going to dip my brush. This is a flat, very flat type of brush, okay? So I'm just going to actually just dip it just a little bit, right? And you want to put a little bit on both sides, and you want to make sure that you're removing any excess. You don't want a lot here, guys. You want it to look as natural as possible. And then I start from the bottom. right underneath my eyebrow arch so remember I'm starting in the center and then going out boom all the way down boom and then you pat it with your finger that's what I do I like to use my fingers you can use q-tips if you have nails you can kind of see that it's just like it doesn't pop you can do something lighter like for example if I want to go lighter, then I'll just like put a little bit of a color stick and give it like extra pop on top. You can do that too. And it makes it appear as if you just got your eyebrows done. And there you go. I always say do liquid first. I'm not a makeup guru. I don't really put on this stuff. So and now I'm just going to go ahead and do the other eyebrow. Now, the other secret part is you want to get the top of the eyebrows. So see, now we're popping a little bit. We got the little pop going on, okay? Right? So I'm just going to use a little bit more liquid. So I'm going to start in the center. Now I'm going to do a little bit of the color correction stick. This is only if you want to. You don't have to to make them pop even more up top to give it that freshly uh, waxed or pl uh, pluck look. And then if you guys want, you can always like, you know, finish your makeup, put any color corrector. You can go in the center too. You can put a little liquid in the center of your eyebrow as well. That is how you get eyebrows that look like they've been weaved plucked, waxed, tattooed, all the things, guys. Liquid eyeliner is key because it lasts all day and all night. Sometimes you can wake up with your eyebrows. If I wasn't talking, my eyebrows would be done right now. So this is literally a quick, like I'd say, six minute eyebrow tutorial. Literally, that's it. 
and then you can continue to do you know whatever it is that you want for your face um, I actually highly recommend doing your eyebrows like this I don't use any stencils you don't have to use any stencils just take your time it might take you a while at first to get it down I'm so used to doing this like every day of my life um, but it's just easy for me to do so so pretty much that's it guys and then what I'm just gonna do is um, cover up any blemishes like under if I'm recording or going on camera I like to just do a little bit under my eye I was born with like raccoon eyes I just can't help it um, I know there's some remedies if you guys have any remedies for that under eye care drop them down below your girl would love to know I love to try new things um, but that's pretty much it guys for the eyebrow tutorial thank you so much for tuning in for more tips and tricks like comment share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one peace